excited. I'm here at Friendship High School with two former seniors. Um, I'm standing here with Skylar Dempsey and Mark Dannemiller, and they are showing me one of the robots that they've created that has won a state competition, but they have done so much that have even involved with uh, Lucas Films. So Skylar, will you kind of tell me a little bit about what we're looking at right now? Um, so yeah, so this is our robot that we had to create this year for um, our competition. Um, each year we get yeah. different competitions, and uh, this year we had to um, create an intake which sucked in balls that were on our playing field, um, went up, and then um, this is our little shooter, and it would shoot at a target that we had to get to. Um, and then we also had to climb a level with uh, three different, um, or two different other robots. So. And what I'm really amazed by on this is that you don't know until like January what the expectation is, what it's going to need to do, and then you just literally hit the ground running? Yeah, so January, um, they sent out this like big video and we watch it and then um, we immediately start designing and kind of researching like what would be the best option for our robot. So. Wow, wow, so I am pretty impressed. So uh, I, you also said too, like this like extends, like it does a lot, right? Yeah, so our robot can extend up to seven or eight feet tall in order to climb up onto a scale with other robots. So we have like a couple hundred pounds um, with other couple hundred pounds, you know, all balancing on that scale. And that's how the match ends every single time. So it's exhilarating all the way through. We're lobbing dodgeballs back and forth. Our robot actually was designed with a defense in mind also. So since it can be so tall, we can actually block other robots shots. So that was kind of our role on our team is that we were the defensive guy. Um, and uh, yeah, everything is built for a very specific purpose and every competition is different. So like this year, these kids building the robots in the shop now, since we're gone, they're gonna have something completely new that we haven't seen before and challenges that all teams across America and across, um, well, this is an international uh, robotics competition. So everyone is gonna have different challenges than we did last year or the year before that. Well, and what I'm really impressed with too, I mean, you, you won the state competition, but then can we also talk about the joy that you created for Lucas Films and Disney? My, my boss sure. would be like, hey, yeah. that's, yeah. that's out of our district. Because this one, this one was after, correct? Yes. Yeah. This was after. We built our mouse droid so that we could take it to competitions and uh, just kind of showcase it to all the other teams and kids and stuff. And so since COVID hit, we didn't get that opportunity. And so instead we're sharing it online with the Disney community so that everyone can appreciate it and get, be inspired by us maybe to also pursue that in their own high school programs, building Star Wars droids. Yeah. Which when we started that, we did not think that starting this little droid that it would get up to Lucasfilms and Disney Plus, these huge, huge companies, you know, wanting to come inter interview a local school. So. And I just, uh, I think I, I love both of your reactions. I mean, you literally get a call from Disney and Lucasfilms and you're like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it was, a, again, a shock, a huge shock. Like that moment when they're like, okay, we're gonna set up a call and we're like, oh my gosh, like we're actually gonna interview with Lucas and all these people on there. And it was really cool. It was very surprising because to us, it's just like, oh, this is just our classwork that you know we do. And the fact that this big corporation took interest in what we were doing you know, because it kind of speaks to the stuff that they do, you know, when they work on The Mandalorian, dealing with actually, because they actually build droids also for their shows and stuff. Like, not everything is CGI in Star Wars. Like, a lot of what they deal with are real animatronics. And so, you know, the fact that they're taking interest in, you know, kids like us that are wanting to kind of aspire to be like them, um, it's pretty neat. Well, and you have to imagine, too, like, they have a plethora of different resources at their disposal and here you guys are you know you're doing this for a high school project and now you're getting I mean national international attention and that's what's so inspiring about this too is that I mean literally anyone can see what you guys have created see what you've built and be like oh you know what let me maybe I can try that out <laughs> watch a YouTube video <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah excellent okay well we will have more for you after the break